You're in school, and you are completely surrounded by people, yet you feel alone. You always want to be invited to go out to the parties, and even though you are, you never really feel like you belong anywhere. You and your friends have gone out partying every single night now, drinking every single night, but it's time to get boring, and you start to not feel so good. And you're now starting to think that you want to make a change, but you don't know where to begin. That was my story. I did that for years, and I didn't feel great. I was fun at first, but then after a while, it becomes a crutch. Going out partying, drinking every night, it became a dependency. I needed it to just get throughout my day. When I was working in the morning, I would be excited to go out and drink with friends after. This wasn't healthy. I'm now getting up to my 20s, and these are some things that I learnt. Took me a long, long time to learn. Took me years to learn. But these are some things that I learned that genuinely changed my life and changed my life's perspective. And I actually started improving. I hope to reveal all of this so you can do the exact same that I have. The less you care about others' perspective on you, the better. I always found that I was constantly finding myself thinking what other people see in me. What other people think about me. I was always thinking about this. As an overthinker, it sucked, and it led to a lot of bad habits. A lot. I was peer pressured into a lot of things, because I was thinking, oh, well, if I don't do this, they aren't going to like me. They aren't going to think I'm cool. Um, And it led to basically a downward spiral. (laughs) The less you care about what other thinks about you, the better. Because ultimately, when it comes down to it, what you decide for yourself is the most important thing. Porn, drugs, alcohol have no advantages. I was peer pressured into this, leading from the first point. They don't have any real advantages. They're fun at first, but then after a while you get poorer, you get fatter, and you get more depressed. They aren't great. Yes, it's fun at first, but then it kind of sucks quite a bit afterwards. And maybe you're at that stage where you've been drinking a lot and you're now getting tired. And I learned something that... You can still have a good time, even when improving. Say you set out to fix your mental health. Say you set out to go to the gym and improve your physical looks. Say you set out to read as much as you can about business, to start your own business, so you can be financially healthy, stable. I had a bunch of fun learning about all of this. The same amount of fun when I was drinking, because it was me and this other group of guys We were all doing the same thing. We all wanted to improve and we all found enjoyment in this. When people say like, oh, I go out to drink, have a good time. I'm like, no, you know, I just like going out, going for a walk in nature, meditating. And they're like, well, but that's not fun. Well, have you ever tried it? No. Well, it is. It's a fun as well. It's the same amount of fun as you drinking. It's just a different kind of fun. It took me a while to realize that You don't have to drink to have fun. There are different kinds of fun. And improving in myself and actually making progress, I love that. So if you don't want to drink, you don't want to participate in drugs, you want to go off and improve yourself, that's okay. That is fine. Go for it. You don't have to drink to have fun. The do it tomorrow mentality. This is something that's probably one of the biggest points here. And it's because it genuinely kind of screwed up my life. The do-it-tomorrow mentality was the reason my life was in complete shambles. The reason why I felt terrible, the reason why I had no energy or motivation just to go throughout my day. The I'll do it tomorrow mentality, it sucked. What can be done tomorrow can be done today. Procrastinating, it's easy to do, but then it kind of affects you in the long term because you've got to deal with it in the future. Future you has to deal with you not wanting to do with it now. Thinking about the long term is probably one of the best things you can do. I don't want to go to the gym today. I'll go tomorrow. No, I'll go today. Because in a year's time, because I've been consistent, I will look like a brand new different person. Stop daydreaming about your future. I used to constantly think about like, ah, imagine if my life was everything I wanted. I was rich. I was attractive. Physically shredded. Had the wife of my dreams the family of my dreams, 
I did it all, always thinking about this, yet I never picked up a book. I never picked up a book on how to make a business. Never read anything to do with finances. I never prioritized my mental health and I never ever went to the gym. Stop daydreaming, just start. You have to start somewhere. Doesn't matter, you can't magically become shredded overnight. You have to start somewhere. Anything that's worth it will take time. But that's time that's gonna pass anyway. So why not just simply start? It took me a very long time to learn these. A very long time. And they genuinely are one of the most helpful things that's helped change my life. Go from getting up at 4pm, going out drinking with friends, until late at night, getting high. It changed my life from that, to getting up 6-7 every single day, going out for morning runs, going to the gym, working on YouTube, working on myself. It's changed my life completely. You may not think that these points that I've said mean much, but when you actually start practicing it, you realize that they're actually quite important. If you want to change, you want to start improving your life, but you have no idea how, this could be it. This channel, this community, I will do everything we can to help you. Learn everything so you can start. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, Stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, you know what time it is. Come here, some broom gifts.